Hey everyone and welcome back to my WordPress theme development series and in this video we are going to learn about incorporating search in our WordPress theme. So if you have a blog and you want people to be able to search through that blog or if you have pages and you want people to search through the pages it's relatively easy to set up. The first thing you want to do is what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the search form on our home page but you can obviously put it in any template you'd like to. If you go back to your theme and you go to your front page, underneath our template part for the content, we're going to add something which is a function which calls the WordPress search form. So all you have to do is do PHP get search form and refresh. And you should see now a search form. Now you may not want it to look like this, but I'll show you later how you can customize it. So once you have the form on your front page, let's just type something in. I'll just type in test. And you'll notice that the search results come up as a blank screen. And that's because the search results are controlled by search.php, which is a blank template. So if I type in test there and I hit refresh, the search template is being called and it should show us the results. The great thing is it is basically a search archive or an archive like our blog post archive. So if we just go into archive.php and copy the whole template there and put it inside our search.php, we can remove the sidebar and all that sort of stuff and just make it nice and simple. And then we can refresh it again. And you'll notice now we have some posts that come up and because the search term was actually test, all of them come up. So let's just test it a bit better than that. Let's go into one specific post. We'll go into this one and we'll just type in the word uh, chocolate because I'm eating it right now. And we'll update that and we'll go back to the home page and we'll type in chocolate. Awesome. So test post one has come up and if you go in there, obviously it has chocolate there. So that's as simple as it gets with implementing search into your theme. You're basically using an archive. However, if you don't have any search results and if you do an empty search, WordPress still searches and it just goes to a screen and it will just show every single blog post you have because every single blog post and page, sorry, has a blank space in it. So that's why it's coming up. So you may want to protect the search from being done un unless someone types something in. So that's why you'd probably want to override this template. So the easiest way to do it would be to just go into your theme, create a new file and just call it searchform.php. And searchform.php is the, the template for the actual form. So that is going to override anything that WordPress has set up automatically. Obviously search.php are the results for your search. Okay, so for the search form, we want to override the existing one. So if I type in test here and refresh, you should see test comes up now, but that is no good. We want to actually to show a form. So let's open up the form. We'll just do form action equals, and we're going to be posting it to the root of our website. And then we'll do method equals get. So it's a get request. And then we'll just close off the form as well. Inside the form, we'll do a label. And we'll do uh, for equals search. So that will refer to the input that we're going to be typing in the search into. And then we'll just do search as the label. And then underneath that, we'll do input type equals text. Oops, equals text. The name will be S. So that's WordPress's uh, way of knowing that we're doing a search request. The ID, we can call it whatever you want, but I'll just do ID of search. And the value will be PHP, PHP the search query. So that is automatically going to post what we type into the input. And then I'm going to make it required. So it's going to use the inbuilt functionality of the browser to make sure that it needs to have something in the form before it's submitted. Um, and now, okay, so it looks like I've got some sort of error here. Let's just see why it's doing that because the colors have changed. Uh, okay, yeah, that's why I haven't closed off my PHP tags. And then we'll just do a button, type equals submit, and then we'll just say uh, search. 
you can replace it with whatever you want. We'll save that, hit refresh. Now we have a search bar as well. I'll just type in chocolate there again. There we go, it comes up. And if I don't type anything, the browser will automatically ask you to fill it in before it searches. You can use jQuery plugin like J jQuery validate, which I'll do a tutorial for later down the track, separate to this series. Um, so now that we have a result, we might want to show the, the actual title of the page, which might be t search results. So you just go into search.php and just put search results there. And you might want to actually put what the person searched for as well. So you want it to spit back what was searched. So you just go back into search.php and you would type php echo get search query. And that function will automatically echo back the search query. So we'll just put it inverted commas around there and we'll just do four as well. So then when we refresh, it will say search results for chocolate or search results for test. Uh, and as you can see, the pa pagination is already working. So you don't have to do anything there because we did it in our earlier tutorials. But um, you can obviously increase the amount of search results by going to settings and reading and say you did 10 it will automatically show 10 and because we haven't got 10 posts it will it will only allow uh, it won't actually show any pagination on there WordPress search isn't awesome however uh, there are plugins you can download which uh, I don't know any exactly but uh, there are actually I do we've got uh, one called Relevanasi and you have another one which is called um, let's just have a look on here and see WordPress search plug. Ah, it's called uh, search everything. I, I remember now search everything. So if you were finding that uh, your WordPress was not finding a specific post because uh, it maybe wasn't searching the description properly or anything like that, uh, you might want to install another plugin that may help with that. So uh, here it is search everything. And it's a free plugin and it worked pretty well, but it hasn't been maintained. So I'm not sure if it's worth using. Um, but uh, let's just say if you wanted to restrict the posts to a specific category. So let's just say you had a blog and when people search, you only want that blog to be searched. You don't want every other category to be searched. You can easily do that by going into your theme and inside the search form.php, you can add another hidden input field. So input type equals hidden. And then you can do um, the name would be cat, which stands for category. And then the value would be the number or the ID of the category that you want to search. So to find that, if you look down in this status area, when I go into my post section, uh, sorry, categories, if you look down here, it's going to come up. So you'll see that it says taxonomy category and tag ID 10. Okay, so let's make that 10. Recipes is 15. Okay, so let's make it 10 first. Okay, and let's do a search now. So we'll search for chocolate again. Okay, so chocolate still works and it's searching in category 10 as you can see up here. But if we change it to category 15, which is the recipes one, and we go back home and do another search for chocolate, it's not going to work because it's not searching within the category that we wanted to to find that specific thing. So basically, you can have quite a few search forms. You actually don't need to use uh, the get search form. You could actually just include a template part with this particular particular code, and then you could use that for the blog post. And then if you wanted to search for another category, you could create another get template part for that specific form and then change the uh, input, the hidden input here so that it reflects the category you want to be searched. So you will notice anyway, uh, with the search results that it says it just doesn't comes up blank. It doesn't say there are no results or anything like that. So to fix that, if we go into our search.php template, you'll notice we're using the archive section we created. Let's copy that and create a new section called section search results dot uh, search results.php paste it inside of there and then what we want to do is within the loop 
you can see we have have post while have post and the post and then we have end while else and if let's close off the else here and then do php end if so we've created another area here and we'll just do there are no results for your search query or you could go a step further and you could grab the query here there are no results for your search query there then go into search.php and change that to search results and then refresh it and you'll see now it won't work but then again if we switch our search form back to category 10 and then search for chocolate it's going to work so yeah that's search in a nutshell with wordpress um, stay tuned so in the next videos we're going to be learning about learning about custom fields and custom post types and all that uh, awesome stuff see you then cheers